Hello, Richmond Hill Elementary. This is Principal Barnes and Assistant Principal Dr. Mobley. All right, we know these are exciting times, so we wanted to reach out to you because we have some uh, ideas, some resources, and we just want to support you uh, with e instruction. So, Dr. Mobley? All right, so we know that your daily schedule currently is not quite the same as a typical school day, but we did just want to give you some pointers on developing a sample schedule. So uh, it's important that you just try to make it as normal as you can for your child. And like I said, it's not going to be their typical school day. But if you look to the side, you'll see a sample where um, there's a designated wake up time and a designated bedtime, and then activities filled in from there. Um, just try to make it as consistent as you can, and it's going to be based off of your child's needs. So not every child is the same. Not everyone's schedule is going to look the same, and that is totally okay. And it's important to remember also that we're all figuring this out for the first time. So the first day, it may not work, and you need to regroup the second day, and that is totally okay. And Mr. Barnes is going to give some more specifics on what should be in the schedule. All right. Uh, so in your schedule as you build it, and like Dr. Mobley said, you know, each family needs to build it so it'll fit for them. But some key things that you definitely want to have in there is obviously uh, language arts, math, and reading. Uh, in that, we also want to have 20 minutes of, uh, you know, reading a book maybe they can pick out. And there's going to be information coming from our media specialist, uh, just how you can... Uh, um, check out books and, and have access to, to books that are online. Um, okay, also you want to build in a little bit of specials time, uh, breaks, snacks, um, you know, and just build it to fit your family. Yeah, so like Mr. Barnes said, instruction is our main goal, but it is very important that we not forget those other activities that we love and are just as important at Richmond Hill Elementary. For example, art, music, STEM, and PE. Um, Ms. Blakewood, Mr. Valentine, Mr. Ragnelson, and Mr. Tyson have worked hard to provide you with some opportunities to extend these into your home. So make sure that you look for those in your child's Google Classroom. In addition to this, the students are used to PE twice a week and recess every day for 30 minutes. So, um, you know, these are certainly different times, but we do not want your child to sit at the computer all day, every day. That's definitely not what we want. To so make sure that they have a chance to get outside and get active, whether it's to go on a quick bike ride, or maybe y'all just take a jog down the street, throw a Frisbee or a ball in the front yard, just um, making sure that they have time to get outdoors is important. And like Mr. Barnes said, we want to make sure that our Wildcats stay reading. So it may be something that you start at home just to keep track of a reading log. And if your child reads a book that they uh, really enjoy, they can always share, share that with Miss Rearly so she can get the um, other students reading it as well. All right. I just want to uh, reiterate what Dr. Mobby said about exercise. It's so important. Uh, kids need to get outside a little bit and have some fun. And uh, we don't want them just sitting behind a Chromebook or a computer all day. Um, make sure that they're getting that proper exercise. All right, so the next thing is, um, we want you to create a special learning place, okay? So it could be, uh, it could be at the kitchen table, it could be a family room, extra bedroom, or sunroom, anywhere in your house where you feel comfortable. Some families like to have it, uh, you know, right there in the center, kitchen table, we're all in there together. Other families like to, create a room that might be separate and this is a place where we work and when we walk away that we're going to leave it. Okay. So it's just whatever works for you and your family. Uh, this is, I took some pictures off of Pinterest and different places and this is just a kitchen table. Uh, another table, you can see how people decorated. They got a map on the wall or the picture to the top left shows a student work or your child's work. Um, this parent was, uh, very organized, uh, you know, once again, it, it, whatever works for you. It's another learning space that's been created. This could be a, a, a nice space for definitely writing and, uh, you know, not that distracting. 
So, you know, just build it for your child because you know your child best. All right, so the space doesn't have to be anything elaborate, like Mr. Barnes said, whatever works for you and your child. But one way that we can support them is to have as many resources available as possible that they'll need during their lessons. So of course, every Wildcat's gonna need some kind of um, technology device, whether it's your Chromebook or working off of a home computer, um, and then any other materials they might need, such as pencils, paper, um, any kind of books or posters um, that they may need to support their learning as well. All right, so at the beginning of each school year, uh, we always sit down with the teachers and we talk about, you know, class procedures. You know, you're in, you're at, you're at home and you're, you're uh, maybe dealing with one child or you might have a number of siblings. But, um, you know, this is just, we just wanted to go over some of these things. This is what we do. Um, you know, we want to encourage you just to think about it because when you begin uh, at the beginning and kind of lay out those procedures, it might make things a little bit easier. So these are just some of the things we talk about in a, in a classroom. So, uh, you know, what are the procedures to throw away trash? If uh, a student has to sharpen the pencil, what, you know, what do they need to do? Um, to get water, eat a snack, ask a question. There's procedures in classrooms. And what we would encourage you to do is just lay out those, and they're going to be different for a home setting, but they're going to be some things that you will want from your children. So start thinking about those now before you start, and that way everybody will be on the same page, and we feel like it'll be a lot easier. All right, so like we said, this is new for everybody. So um, one thing that is a main focus in school is classroom management. And this is just the way that we interact and deal with and reinforce those um, good behaviors that we want to see. So same thing in the home. Um, kids thrive off of positive praise. So anytime that you can provide that for your child, um, it just really goes a long way. And you're going to reinforce and shape those good behaviors that you are seeing. Um, it's important to set those expectations. And then kids like to work for a reward. So um, whether it be a sticker chart or a tally mark, keeping track of what they do well and letting them work for a prize um, at the end of the day or break up your day and have them work um, for a smaller treat during the day. Um, some examples could be extra video game time. We do not want the Wildcats all day on the videos, but we know that they love those. So what a great um, time to let them work for that extra time. Um, some board games as a family, TV time, or uh, just taking time and reading a good book, or maybe they work for a certain snack that they really like at home as well. All right. We also want to encourage you to um, you know, really utilize this time that we have, I feel like we'll look back on it and, uh, you know, we can, we can really make the best of it. We want to encourage you to do that. You can, you can do that through, you know, uh, set specific times for meals where we're all going to eat together or have, have, you know, family meetings, um, possibly plant a garden or take a walk, play basketball, um, just race in the backyard. I mean, your kids are going to eat that up. I mean, you know, we're so busy in our daily lives, and this is definitely an opportunity to take this time and just, we have a lot of it, but take this time, you know, just to really uh, spend time with your kids and, and just enjoy them. All right, so, you know, we've created this video for, you know, just for you. So you'll have support. We want to be here for you. We know that as we all are going through a lot, we hope to have some um, support groups uh, on, on uh, the web. We're going to be get, getting that information to you. You'll be able to sign up and have a virtual uh, support group where you can pair up with other parents and talk to them and see what they're doing. Um, you know, we're, we're also going to rebuild our uh, website to make sure that you have resources and access uh, to things that we think are important and things that you may need. Um, you know, uh, you know, the main place that you're going to go is uh, Google Classroom, your child's classroom to get information. 
but we're going to have other resources as well. And we're going to try to make it in one central place where, uh, you know, you can um, have access to them. So we appreciate uh, just the time that you've taken to watch this video. Uh, we want to hear from you. Uh, we value your input. And if there's anything we can do uh, in the near future, just let us know.